How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm good. I'm tired, but yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Okay, imagine. What's the training side or press uh, conference side? Neither, just uh, out of sync really because of the fight. Okay. So yeah, just get out of sync a bit and then uh, just routine, break the routine after fights. How much is it in, how important is it for you to you know, make a statement with this next fight? I think, I think it's not important because there's so much pressure on, on every fight, do you know what I mean? So to make a statement in the Kevin Johnson fight is only going to put more pressure on the next fight. Yeah. So that's why I just take it all as an even playing field until I'm at a certain level, you know, and I've got something to defend. Right now I'm a prospect. Uh, people say I'm the hunted, I'm hunting these guys just like a predator myself. So uh, I don't put no pressure on myself. I saw someone refer to you just now as the champ and you kind of put them straight, straight away. Mm. You know, champion, prospect. 100%. Is that something you just want to temper the enthusiasm and the support that comes your way? Yeah, because I think that's not my job. That's like, that's why I joined the best promotional team right now in mm -hmm. UK, because they're doing a great job doing that. I don't really need to do any more. Mm. So I just try and keep it all like, listen, I'm just trying my best and wherever that takes me, whether it's here, here or here, we'll all soon find out my level. Yeah. You know I mean? saw you on that other channel. Um, yeah, they get in the training room after the fights. We'd yeah. like to do that too, by the way. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, I saw them. I, yeah. saw, I saw you give. You know, you, you you looked not vexed, but you looked like you're fed up of the sniping and the people calling like your name. And obviously mm. today you mentioned the fact that you're not the man for the banter. Is that was that what that was? No, it's just that like I don't think people really understand me. I think they've already just seen me on Sky Sports. Mm -hmm. You know, what I mean, I don't really know the times when we were struggling in Finchley ABC. Um, no one supports your grind. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? All of a sudden, everyone knows what's best for AJ. So I don't really, I don't really respect that to a mm. certain extent, um, from my opinion. So that's why I don't really buy into all the talking and all the politics. So that's just where I'm coming from. Yeah, that's why I, I kind of keep it at a level playing field. Mm. There's one particular man who keeps riding your coattails. That's Dylan. Obviously, we know the beef between you guys from a long time ago. That's what I'm getting at. Is it yeah. getting a bit boring now that every other interview it's like... No, about? not at all, because if the fight happens, I think he's doing a great job of, of marketing it. You mm. know what I mean? So I think he's a marketer's dream in that sense. Um, I think I think for him, though, I think the, the, amateur, the amateur discussion of the fight where we boxed and that's what people have got to talk about. I think we've both developed from then. You know where I'm coming from? Yeah. So I think to just keep on going on about that, or if that's irrelevant now, going about something else. Mm -hmm. the fight, these fights will happen regardless because we're all in the heavyweight division and we're all prospects. Will they though? Because you, yeah, you, yeah, it's yeah. clear that you're the, you're the payday. Mm, so but, I mean, when you But I'm not position. just a, I'm not a pay, I'm a talent. Yeah, I hear that. I mean, I'm, so, I'm, you know I'm, what I'm, mean? I'm looking at it from the money table. Yeah. You're clearly a talent, you're an Olympic champion. So no, like, no, but it's just like, so the, the money, the money side, I think um, that's the business side of things. But I think these fights have to happen in order to generate that money right. anyway. Um, so I think that's why these fights will happen to generate that, that kind of interest, that money. As you said, we have to fight each other. So I think, uh, but to, to talk about uh, like amateur pedigree uh, so far, so early on in our careers, mm. if that's all you have to really go by, I think we've both developed on a lot from that. So uh, I think it's, it's just irrelevant. That's why I don't really, yeah. that's why sometimes I don't entertain it because it's irrelevant. You, you talked about um, turning some of your weaknesses into yeah, strengths. Yeah. What were those weaknesses? And you know, I think like you know when you're six foot seven. No, we, no. <laughs> when I'm six foot seven, so you have got someone like Tyson, short, stocky, boom. He's yeah. just he's a set. You have got someone like myself who's quite tall, mm. slimmer levers. Um, so I, what I need to do, you cut, I picture like this: cut my legs off, cut my arms off. I've got my trunk, and all this is the most important part of becoming yeah. strong: your core, your glutes, mm -hmm. your hips, your groin. So I think I naturally get big around the chest area, arms. So I need to concentrate on more of like my foundations of my body. And that's what I've been doing is focusing really on like that. that so how have you dense. been doing that? Because I, I said um, in the interview before, I said they mentioned some of the stuff you're doing in the gym. It does look crazy on Instagram, I ain't going to lie. That's what I'm saying, they're little things. Because yeah. I've got like a social guy now who kind of like manages that. Oh, right, so okay. we take, my boys take a couple of snaps in the gym, send them over. That's a good look. So yeah, so I don't even show all of it. So I done, I linked up with a new trainer. Right. Um, his name's Jamie, really good. Uh, he's, we're doing more functional stuff because what we used to do is just go gym with me and my cousins and we're just, bam, wait, what? We're doing chest, boom, boom. <laughs> Stretch up yeah. and I feel good. Yeah, but now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But now we're, we're, I'm really just trying to be more professional in what I do so I can prevent a lot more injuries because mm -hmm. all injuries are is tightness or weakness. Right. So 
you know, flexibility, trying to start yoga mm. and doing more functional movement where I'm a lot weaker and I get stronger. Talk to me about, um, you know, the fact that you fought so quickly. You, fight, uh, you fought so recently and you're fighting so quickly again. And how many times do you want to fight for the rest of the year? I think early on in your career, early on in my career, and a lot of other athletes that turn pro, we have that thing where it's just like boom, 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 rack them up as quick as you can, build that confidence. And then, because I'm not going like 12 rounds of war, I'm not coming up bruised, yeah. my hands are good, my ribs are good, I can go again. But if I was in like a, like a six, eight round slugfest where it's been a war, I definitely need to rest. But that's why I can keep on going. And how many times would be potentially May 9th, right. potentially, I'm not putting a a tick next to that yet, but May 30th, right. so that could be two. Probably I could get out like six more times this year. Six, five more fights. times, yeah. It's, it's, it's how it, how easy I make them as well. The, the stress factor, clearly that's not Mad. an issue no more then, but what was that like when you sustained it, the pain? The it was weird because like, so all through, it was having like November times, yeah. and this is what I'm saying, prevention is better than cure, so I've been training, I was thinking, oh, my, my glutes tight, the top of my glutes tight. Just kept on stretching it, rotating it, mm. trying it to make it click. Mm. It just felt like it needed to be released. And then, um, so I just carried on going. It went more, it was going more. So I was going, doing loads of uh, physio, like acupuncture, just trying to maintain it. I was like, God, I did this, I'm tight muscle. So to come to the sprot fight, I thought, all right, I'm just going to just just go through this sprot fight, paracetamol, mm. train, just to numb the pain. Got to the sprot fight, I couldn't even go past here. My back was bad, yeah. My back was bad, and then uh, I thought, all right, all I need to do is get this one fight out of the way, and this is the fight until the year ends. And I thought it was just the fact I had a busy year, so my body was tight. So I went, we went away, I rested, it eased off. And I come back straight into training, first day it went again, I thought, for goodness sake. So I got one of them football physios who have all that high tech stuff. I said, you know what, just get a scan, scanned it, MRI, right. come back in, it was a stress fracture. Right, right, right. But it's good in the sense that I realised what it was, what the pain was. At first I didn't know. Mm. The other physio was just saying it was muscle. Just started working. Loads of painful, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pressure. You, you pre oh man, I swear to you, mad. Um, loads of core work. Mm. And then he's, the guy I worked with was very dedicated to getting me back in time. He didn't want me to fight uh, April 4th. Okay. Well, the fight just gone, but I wanted to and I felt good. So yeah, we're here now. That's Gavin, next fight. Talked about mid-tier fighters. Who else represents that bracket of fighter? Mid-tier? Yeah. Chisora, Price. We're talking about names. Yeah. And I think there's like loads of like European guys. Um, and that's, that's probably, yeah, mm. that's it really. But there's loads of like European, more like the European scene in that mid-tier. So Price, you put in that? Do you know what it is, is that, because the top tiers, I'd say it's like Wilder, Klitschko, right, Bermain Stavern, right, right, right. um, Ariola, mm. you know what I mean? Thomas, no, not Adam, Povetkin. Yeah. These type of guys are more like top tier fighters. Who's that? Shagayev. Shagayev, yeah. Shagayev, these yeah, guys are top tier, then middle tier. The reason is, is just that I like Price and that because they, they, went, for the, they went for the leap of faith, mm. failed. Mm -hmm. They just come back down a peg and build them back up. So right now they're still in middle tier in my right, opinion. Right. That's why. So, um, okay, Mayweather Pacquiao, that's the fight on everybody's <laughs> lips right now. Who wins and where? I'm Team Mayweather. Okay. You know. Um, Does he stop him? Does it go to points? What happens? Pacquiao's the only chance to stop him. Mayweather, Mayweather won't stop Pacquiao. Okay, that's interesting. I heard that one. But Why is that? Because he's. It's just not in his makeup. If he had banged out the last six opponents, I'd have started to yeah, back yeah. my words up. I can't back that statement up because right. he hasn't done that, especially against Pacquiao. Um, but I think that. Pacquiao, I mean, Mayweather might make Pacquiao look a lot worse than he's looked good against the majority of his opponents because none of the opponents Pacquiao's box have got the same defence and artillery that Mayweather yeah, possesses. Of course. So 77 million on the gate, they're saying. I'm looking for a sponsorship from the money team. <laughs> you know what I mean? That is crazy. Yeah, they're <laughs> that is crazy. That's <laughs> 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 Dedication. Hard work. Dedication.